Hi everyone, uh, in this video we will uh, see how we can create a Power BI report using SQL Server 2000 as a database. Uh, so I already have installed SQL Server 2000 on my machine. Uh, you can see uh, this is a SQL Server 2000 instance and if I show you the uh, version, let me quickly show you the version. So select uh, one second at the date version and uh, you see this is a Microsoft SQL Server 2000 version uh, this is the version uh, name and uh, so uh, on this SQL Server 2000 we have couple of tables uh, agent customer new table order test migration so these tables all uh, actually have some data in it and what we uh, will do is we will directly connect Power BI uh, latest version which is May uh, 2022 uh, uh, with this SQL Server 2000 so we will check whether uh, SQL Server 2000 uh, ba uh, how uh, I'm basically how we can uh, get the data from SQL Server 2000 and generate the Power BI report so this is the whole agenda for this uh, uh, entire project okay so uh, let me show you the data first uh, so this is the agent table you can see and then we have the customer table you see uh, sorry Your customer table you see like this and then we also have data we have data basically in all the tables just i'm quickly showing you how the data looks like uh, yeah so um, similarly oh, oh, sorry similarly over here as well and uh, for new tables as well dt property this is the system table so don't worry about this one we'll just consider the user tables okay so yeah one second um a new table yeah and yeah so we have the data so let's let's use this data and directly connect to our power bi how we will do that we'll go to our uh, we will open a power bi desktop i have already installed the power bi desktop and this power bi desktop is the latest version uh, and the latest version is may 2022 which has already been released uh, it was um, i mean uh, earlier there was a support of sql server 2000 as a, a direct connector but uh, there, there's not uh, there's no more for the connector available for uh, sql server 2000 so there's another way where we can actually connect uh, direct to this um, instance and get the data out of it and then once we have the data in our power bi uh, instance and uh, power bi desktop then we will model the data uh, and do some relationships and data modeling on top of it and then uh, we'll design the report right so uh, my power bi desktop instance is just opening so let it open and in the meanwhile um, uh, what we can do is like I'll, uh, I'll just one quick thing so this is called sql server query anal analyzer where it bas basically we write our queries and there's one more thing called sql server enterprise manager where uh, in enterprise manager is basically used to do all io operations and other operations like you know uh, dts and management and replication security and so on and so forth um, but uh, for further uh, any queries writing any queries or views or stored procedure we'll generally uh, come and uh, do this thing okay uh, on a query analyzer basically all right so our power bi instance is already open opened up let me open that um, uh, it is taking some time but yeah it is here so uh, one second let me close this and so because earlier there were some files uh, uh, which was closed uh, let me close this one I do not want to recover those uh, one second okay all right, so now uh, how do we connect to our SQL Server 2000? So let me show you first the version of this uh, uh, Power BI. So you see this version of this Power BI is latest May 2022. Okay, this is the latest version for Power BI. And let's start with it. So first of all, we'll go to the get data and in the get data, we'll click on more. And once we click on more, uh, there, there is there will be and uh, uh, data connector wizard will be opened and in that we will directly configure how we will connect with our uh, SQL Server 2000 right um, yeah so so here it is now in get data um, earlier if you want to write SQL Server okay you might get something like SQL Server database you cannot use this directly because you know uh, uh, usually it will give some error if I try to use it for example let's say try to use it uh, click on connect so it might ask for some other details um, yeah so let's say server name so let me go and pick this server name from here um, one second oh, one, just one second okay let me 
copy the server name this is the server name and if I try to click uh, connect so it will ask me uh, with the use uh, for the username and password and uh, we need to supply that uh, so yeah see uh, we encounter error um, system dot extended properties are not working if you try to edit the credentials uh, by default it is using my windows credentials uh, which you should usually work but if it is not i mean this is not the ideal way to connect to sql server 2000 i mean maybe for this latest sql server you can do like this but for the sql server 2000 there's another way to do it uh, let's go uh, back and try that so that's called oledb connection so we'll f f we'll try to connect with using OLEDB connection, basically, which is being used to uh, connect on a Windows machine. So if you have a Windows machine, the, you can directly use OLEDB connections to connect your uh, servers, right? So there are difference between ODBC and OLEDB. ODBC are basically supported on the wider range, like you know, maybe on Windows or Linux or any other system if you want to connect, you can definitely use ODBT or oh, sorry ODBC. And if you uh, want to connect specifically for Windows support, OLEDB has been designed. So OLEDB, if you type over here, uh, OLE, uh, yeah, so there's a space between OLE, space TV, so that's why it didn't figure out. But yeah, if you type OLE, you will get an OLEDB connector. You click on here, OLEDB, and click on connect. And now what will happen, it will open up a, a dialog box and where you have to type the connection string. So maybe you don't know the connection string, so you can click on build and you can build the connection string from scratch so if you connect on build it would automatically select this OLEDB provider for SQL server and then you go to this connection and in the connection type, type your username no, sorry server name so this is the server name which I have and if any system username and password is there so I already use I'm already using my SQL server authentication so I will pass that okay and uh, if i uh, click on test connection so test connection succeeded so this is done and now if i click on drop down i can select my database you see so this is uh, sorry uh, let me cancel this one first so this is exact this is the same database sql server 2000 migration demo you see here if i click on test connection done and okay right so this is how my connection strings look like you can copy it and save it for uh, later but uh, no um, no need because you can anytime build it from scratch right so click on ok and once I uh, click on ok it will um, you know I try to go back to uh, my SQL Server 2000 instance and verify the credentials and then um, come back with the data and it start loading the data automatically so you see I get all the uh, databases here and if I go to this DBO instance uh, schema in my database I will select all the tables uh, <coughs> So I have selected all the tables and I click on load. So once I click on load, uh, the Power BI will start loading uh, the entire, uh, all the selected tables in this Power BI desktop. So uh, first we have seen how we can directly connect to our SQL Server 2000 and what are the ways to do it. And second, how we can load the data and create the connection string, right? So uh, I think this is the uh, important thing where you want to understand that how do we do it uh, but after this uh, it is the usual way of creating a power bi report once you have the data in your power bi desktop right and uh, once this is ready we will do some small uh, uh, data visualization report we'll create a data visualization report and then we'll deploy it to on power bi instance so i all i have already a power bi workspace uh, you see this is my power bi workspace here and we have i have already a couple of reports deployed over here uh, but what i'll do is i'll create this report and i'll deploy on this database so that we can see like you know how we can also deploy the report on power bi workspace and with uh, sql server 2000 as a backend and uh, how we can refresh the data so that's also important right so uh, yeah so the data has been loaded successfully so let's go back to our data grid and let's see uh, if we have the data available or not okay so uh, i will click on my data grid yeah we can see the list of tables are here i will click on my data grid and uh, let's try to analyze the data i will click on agent uh, still showing the empty table but yeah yeah you see the data is already here now uh, agent data is here customer yes 
mutable yes orders yes migration yes so we have all the data and in the relationship we see if we have already have a relationship it will uh, will automatically detect it i think it is already there as these tables are not being associated with any of them now uh, using a key so that's fine it's not a problem we just have to create some sample reporting here so i'm doing some sample reporting so let's do this one for now uh, i'll hide the filters so uh, we don't need it and uh, for the agent let's take the commission and code uh, and then country that's it so that's one and uh, let's do the other one uh, using a pie chart so okay and in the pie chart I will basically try to uh, get some customer details where uh, what is the payment amount uh, per customer country okay so that is done and let's do one more uh, table and in the table we'll get the order details you'll get all the order details I'm not uh, is, uh, you know doing any specific selection I'm selecting all of them in the same order it is available in the in the database so I mean you can pick and choose and design as per your requirement but it is not required at all like you know you'll do it my way uh, but yeah it is it is uh, same like that okay so uh, we have this data available and we have this table we have this beautiful report uh, designed this very basic report I know uh, but let's let's save this report uh, before deploying it uh, save as I'll save it on my so sample uh, PBI sample report uh, SQL server 2000 okay I'll now save this report and uh, just also for testing purpose let me also uh, do one quick uh, thing here uh, let me uh, design one more table and I'll take all the data from uh, from the uh, test for migration table and I'll put it here like test for migration is basically used for transferring data from SQL Server 2000 to Azure SQL DB that's why I created this table but yeah that's fine it is not a dependent table it's just for testing purpose so we'll, we'll do that okay uh, so that's fine um, I'll save this table and I, now I'm going to publish this. My sub, my workspace name is Migration Project. So I'll go to publish and click on. Uh, before publishing it, you uh, you will have to log in with your credentials, work, workspace credentials, right? So I've already logged in. So it is already picking up my workspace. Click on select, and once you click on select, it will directly uh, uh, you know publish this report onto my workspace. So PBI sample reports equals over 2000 dot PBIX will be published to my workspace itself. So, okay, got it. Now let's go and refresh. You see this report has recently been published. You can see these three uh, half star like symbol over here. But yeah, if I click this report and uh, let's see if it or not, uh, the report is loading. So yeah. Uh, you, you can see like this report is working fine the same way we designed over there uh, so perfect so now our report has been created using SQL Server 2000 backend and it is working fine now it has been deployed also on the workspace so this is good the last thing which is remain, uh, remaining is like refresh the data so let's try to refresh the data let's see uh, for test for migration I'll just uh, add one more row um, in this table so let me just add that so let's keep it new row new row for testing okay and I'll just hit okay it is done so let me just quickly sorry let me just quickly see the data and in the test for migration if you see new row for testing has been added okay now let's go back and refresh so if I refresh, uh, sorry, not here. Uh, let's go back here and refresh the uh, data set. So go to migration project. So if I hit refresh my data set, as uh, so you see, uh, data set is refreshing now. And uh, if I go back to my report, 
and this is where there, there is a small table where we have added the test for migration data over here you see only the bunk, uh, only this name is coming up there is not second row is coming up so let's refresh the report also uh, it might take some time it will not be instance but it might take some time it will come up so yeah so it is not uh, refreshing as of now uh, might take some time so we have to wait okay so let's let's go back and check our database uh, our data set connections is everything working fine because the sql server 2000 instance is deployed on my local machine right and so we have to uh, set up a personal gateway for that so uh, uh, we have to go back and see so i have already set up a personal gateway so we have to see like is everything working fine or not okay so let's go back and see so how do we set up a personal gateway that we need to see uh, so here you see uh, my gateway connection so personal gateway is already running on my machine and in the data sort credentials part yeah credentials also working so everything seems working fine uh, so let's uh, it might take I mean you can do a schedule refresh also you can open this and you can put you know whatever you can see you want to do it you can do it uh, so let's go back and try once one more time uh, in our report and refresh yeah now the new row for testing is available okay so uh, we see like we can see like you know uh, whatever changes we have done it is already reflecting now and uh, this is how we can actually test uh, you know create a power bi report on top of sql 2000 and deploy it on power bi uh, workspace all right so this is done and that's it for this uh, this video and let me know if you have any further questions and i'll have it also Thank you.